So hello everybody and welcome to 25 days of Tax Fridays challenge. This is day 20. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, just go down below, check all the details. It's never too late to start. If you want to know how I solve day 20 or you're stuck, this is the video for you. Let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to solve this the same way that we've been doing it. We are going to do it first without DAX and then with DAX. So the question today goes like this, which vendor has the highest stock value? So which vendor, uh, we go to the supplier stable and we get the company name or company ID, doesn't matter, they are unique. So which vendor has the highest stock value? So the highest value is quantity stocked unit times unit price, right? So if you multiply this by this, you get the high stock value, or do you? Not quite. You need to add also product ID. And I am going to show you why in just a second. Then what I'm going to do is export this to Excel, and I already have an Excel file, so I'm going to show you. Okay, so what I was telling you about on Power BI is like, I have the table with a product ID here. I have the stock units and the unit price. So. If you would just go and do stock units times unit price, you will get 24,000, right, in stock value. Now, so now check this out, because if I go to the table where I've added the product ID and I do like this, so the product, the stock value for this is going to be vendor, this is this two uh, product, it is going to be stock unit times unit price plus stocked units times unit price. You know the multiplication goes before the sum, you don't need the parentheses. This is going to be 5,000 instead of the 24,000, right? So you need to have product ID on your table when you're doing the calculation, otherwise you're going to get it wrong. So now that we have the table like here, we need to sum the stock value per company name. How do we do it in Excel? It's easy, right? You do a pivot table, and then you put the company name and the stock value. So now that we have these, the only thing that we need to do is to sort. And you can see that our number one is Uges Ecclesiastic. My nephews would be proud, I think. Okay, let's go back to Power BI and see what we do this in DAX, how we do this in DAX. So to do it in DAX, we're going to use the same concept that we've been doing throughout this um, challenge and is using virtual tables. So, I'm going to create the virtual table here so we can actually see it and then do the calculations on the table, same as always. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to summarize and we're going to summarize the product table. We're going to get the supplier name, which is company name. Always be mindful that you have unique company names, use company ID in that case. I just want you to see, I prefer to see two. So company name, and now we're going to calculate the stock value. And this is where you need to be careful. So the stock value, if you do unit price times stock value or stock units, let me show you what it happened. Okay, so if we go to the product that we were looking at on Excel, which is here, you see that it says 24,000 and it said 24,000 when we were calculating the sum, the sum and the multiplication, rather than the sum multiplication, sum multiplication. So this is not going to work. So how do we do it? What functions in DAX will do the row by row calculation that we actually want is going to be the sum x, right? So if I put sum x product in there, and then we go to our line, you see the 5,700? So it did exactly what we wanted. It went line by line. Right, and it did the calculation of the stock value correctly, and then it sum it. That's what SumX does. And uh, I need to put it on a card. You don't necessarily need to do that. So to put it on a card, I'm going to do the pen that we've done before, and then we're going here to put the stock value. And remember the stock value, you can see the symbol there. This is from the table. This is this stock value, nothing else. So the stock value of the summarize table and then the send in, right? And that is going to give me the supplier that has the highest stock value. And now I am going to 
get this and put it into a card. The same way that we've been doing so far. So go to solutions, new measure. This is for day 20. And then here we're going to do calculate selected value for the supplier's company name. If you had company ID, put company ID of the table that we created in the background. So once we have it, we are going to put it into a card and hopefully it will give us the correct answer, which is the OUJ Ecclesiastic. Oh, it's pronounced, I forgot. Um, so, yeah, this is over today. I will see you again tomorrow with day 21. Let me know how is it going for you in the challenge. I will see you again tomorrow.